1.6 billion people rely directly on forests for food and medicine. And then that number increases significantly when you think about people relying on indirectly for the sale of those products to support their livelihood. So people's food security and nutrition depend on forests. And yet we manage forests primarily for timber and wood. And these other products are not really considered in forest management. NTFTs are significant sources of food and income for our local and indigenous communities. So this could also enhance economic um, diversification, resilience, and sustainable livelihoods that could also reduce the pressure on our timber resources. I work in Southeast Asia, specifically in the Philippines, where we have numerous underutilized indigenous fruit tree species but they're often not used because they lack the knowledge on the uses and potential benefits of these NTFPs. We also found out that only a handful of them are being recognized for their market potential. So by harnessing and utilizing these NTFPs, we can foster a balanced forest bioeconomy and at the same time that will benefit both people and the planet. Well, first of all, just recognizing that, that they are of national importance uh, and then supporting policies and regulations to incorporate them into forest management activities through legislation, through improving uh, inventory of the resources, to working with uh, diverse stakeholders and different sectors of the forest economy. For example, many of these products go into pharmaceutical industries, cosmetics, healthcare, a variety of other things that we just don't really think about when we think about a forest-based economy. So I hope that with research, we could reveal more of the uses and benefits of indigenous fruit tree species, and that policies, specifically in the Philippines, could be developed so that we can integrate them into forest management plans and greening initiatives. I'm hopeful that uh, nations will respond. I think organizations like uh, UFRO will respond uh, and advocate for research and policies, uh, and I think they'll recognize the importance of these products to their, the people and the biodiversity of their lands.